Guess what? Tesla just got a reality check from a brand new company. Tesla's always been the big cheese in the battery world, but this new kid on the block just shredded their fancy cyber cell into tiny bits. This new battery is like a superhero, super efficient, holds more power, and is easier to use. Curious to know more about this battery that's giving Tesla a run for its money? Let's dive in and discover the mind-blowing tech that's got everyone talking. So, who's this hotshot new Tesla rival? It's QuantumScape. They're a cool company from Silicon Valley that's all about making batteries for electric cars. Started in 2010 by Jagdeep Singh, Tim Holm, and Fritz Prince, they were just a small fry. But guess what? In 2012, Volkswagen, one of the biggest car makers on the planet, took notice and decided to team up with them. They've been backing QuantumScape ever since. And get this, even Bill Gates himself thought they were onto something and threw some cash their way. But hold on to your hats, because QuantumScape really stole the show in 2022 when they unveiled their game-changing battery. Everyone went bananas for it and suddenly QuantumScape was swimming in cash from all directions. So, what's the big deal with this new battery anyway? Let's find out. The battery type in question is QuantumScape's all-new solid-state batteries. You see, solid-state batteries have, for a couple of years now, been thought of as the future of EV batteries. This is because they're logistically very similar to producing regular lithium-ion batteries. They, too, are lithium-based. But unlike regular batteries, solid-state batteries utilize solid electrolytes. Regular lithium-ion batteries use liquid or polymer gel electrolytes. Solid-state batteries incorporate polymer or ceramic electrolytes, removing all liquid from them. A shift from liquid electrolytes might seem like a superfluous change. However, it allows for an enormous increase in the utilitarian value of the batteries themselves. First. Due to a much higher energy density, solid-state batteries have a way bigger capacity, which means that they'd allow for a much greater range while also being way lighter and more compact. This will allow the car to be much more drivable due to a lower curb weight, while also being more efficient due to it not being overburdened by excessive weight. The cherry on the top is the fact that solid-state batteries have a higher voltage tolerance meaning that charging times will be much faster than regular lithium-ion batteries, and that is one of the main drawbacks of electric vehicles compared to internal combustion engine cars. But the biggest reason why they're so much better than lithium-ion batteries is that they're also much safer than them. The biggest concern surrounding regular batteries is how easily combustible they are. You see, regular lithium-ion battery cells combine a flammable electrolyte with a significant amount of stored energy. Once the battery cell starts creating more heat than it can effectively disperse, the battery becomes very susceptible to spontaneous combustion. This process of producing excessive heat is known as thermal runaway, and it can be caused by short-circuiting, mechanical damage, and even overcharging or over-discharging. On the flip side, Solid-state batteries are considerably more stable due to their not being able to eject a range of flammable or toxic gases, since they're completely solid and lack any kind of easily flammable liquid that can rapidly vaporize. What's incredibly interesting about solid-state batteries is that they existed as a concept for almost two whole centuries. Michael Faraday was the first person to discover solid electrolytes back in the early 1830s which was the basis of all future development of solid-state ionics. However, solid-state batteries have been known for their short lifespan due to the rapid depletion of their solid electrolytes. So what makes QuantumScape's battery so much better than the CyberCell? While the CyberCell battery is, without a doubt, at the top of the lithium-ion game, it's still conceptually less effective than what QuantumScape proposed. This is because the CyberCell battery is nothing more than an evolution of Tesla's 4680 batteries. And while the CyberCell will beat out most of its conventional competition, it's still nothing revolutionary nor spectacular. First, there's the question of range and production costs. Furthermore, 
QuantumScape has also done wonders to lower the production costs for its new battery. Solid-state batteries have always harnessed the potential of being more affordable to produce than regular lithium-ion batteries. However, due to them being much less mainstream, these production costs remained high. Thanks to QuantumScape, we've now finally got a solid-state battery that'll be affordable to make. This is because the anode host material, as well as all the manufacturing costs that come with it, have been eliminated. But the biggest complaint and the biggest concern of solid-state batteries has, without a doubt, been their lifespan. They just couldn't come close to lithium-ion batteries because they lost their potency quite rapidly due to a relatively high strain on them. Well, you can kiss that short lifespan goodbye. Why? Because QuantumScape extended its battery's lifetime massively by eliminating capacity loss at the node interface. As a result, QuantumCape has announced that its batteries will be able to reach over 500,000 miles without any significant capacity drops or range loss. Furthermore, QuantumCape has also gone above and beyond in creating its new batteries to be as safe as possible. This, apart from shifting to solid electrolytes, also includes the shift from organic separators that are replaced by non-flammable and non-combustible flame separators. This makes the batteries even less susceptible to damage and spontaneous combustion, which should be a major plus in everyone's books. So, with all of this in mind, it's safe to say that things aren't exactly looking great for Tesla. Quantum Cape has got them pinned down, and with them pioneering solid-state batteries, it's only a matter of time before another manufacturer comes out and starts making their solid-state batteries, which would lead to the CyberCell's early retirement. Will Tesla catch up? Tesla is a humongous company, unlike Quantum Cape, which is technically a startup and specializes in R&D of batteries. Tesla has enormous production capacities, apart from just research and development. What's more, Tesla is also a well-proven company, and their products have been exceptionally popular and revolutionary, whereas Quantum Cape is yet to be proven. Not to mention that Tesla can, and most likely will, buy out any startup competition that might bring them closer to creating the perfect battery type for their EVs. They've already partnered with numerous different companies, and there's no reason for them not to do such a thing with Quantum Cape if the company proves to be as ambitious as they keep telling us they are. And that's exactly what brings us to the next problem. You see, Quantum Cape's work is yet to be proved, or even revealed to the public for that matter. This lack of any visible results is why Quantum Cape has been accused of fraud in the past.